Okay, so for question four, we have a current mirror. Uh, there are some parameters here like PDD, R, the process transconductance, 100 microampere per volt squared, uh, the length and the width of each one of the channels for, the, for both transistors Q1 and Q2. Uh, the threshold voltage is the same for both of them, so it's one volt. And then we have our Merrily voltage for the second transistor as 100 volts. So first we need to find IL. Okay, so how do we find out IL? So first, let's look at this circuit here, and we know that basically VGS, right, it's going to be equals to, sorry, VG in this case, right? The voltage that we have here at this node, it's going to be equals to VDD, minus ID1 times R, right? There's a voltage drop here. This is ID1. Usually this is referred as the reference current, right? So ID1 is the reference current. And we also have an equation for VGS, which is going to be VG minus VEE. So suppose this one here is VEE, right? So VEE -E is minus two, but we have VEE -E here at the bottom. So it's just going to be VG minus VS, which gives us VDD minus ID1R minus VS, which in our case VS because it's directly connected to the source here of both transistors, right? So we have minus VEE. -E. So that's an equation for VGS. Now, for this uh, operation as a current uh, mirror, we have the transistor operating in the saturation region. So we have an equation for ID1, that it's one half the process transconductance times the ratio WL for the transistor one times VGS minus VT1 squared right so if we substitute this equation here and here we are going to be left with an equation in terms of id1 right so we can substitute that and then i'll just so if we calculate this term here we'll figure out that for transistor one that uh, leave us with 0 0.2 and again we are using currents in milliamperes and resistance in kilo ohms and then voltages in volts. So this entire term here, if we pass it like multiplying the ID1 on the left hand side, we get 10 ID1, right? And that's equals to this term here squared, which if we substitute the value of VGS is going to be VDD, right? Minus ID1 r and now let's substitute r so in this case r is given to be 1k so we are just going to leave as uh, 1 right so id1 minus vee -E minus vt1 squared so this one here leave us with 10 id1 and then i would just like uh, I, i'll get like the terms that we know uh, inside a parenthesis to like simplify the squared here. So we have uh, VDD minus VEE minus VT1 as a constant because we know VV, we, we know VEE, we know VDD and we know VT1. So we are left with ID1 squared, right? Minus, um, minus two times ID1 times VDD minus VEE minus VT plus VDD minus VEE minus VT squared. So if you substitute the values here for VDD equals to 8, for VEE minus 2, and for VT 1 volt, and then we just uh, put this on the right hand side we get a quadratic equation that it's id1 squared 
minus 28 ID 1 plus 81 equals to 0. So this is our term C, this is our term B, and 1 here is our term A. So if we solve this quadratic equation, we get that ID 1, it's either 24.7238 milliamperes or 3.2762 milliamperes. So we are going to get, we are going to take this 3.2762 milliamperes because that's the one that gives us um, the operation of uh, the correct operation of the of the MOSFET. So if we proceed calculating VGS, right, then we get VDD, so the equation that we had up there, times R minus VE, right? So this gives us a value of VGS that it's equals to 6.7238 volts, okay? And now, we, because we know the value of VGS, and this VGS is the same here and here, so it's the same for both transistors, we can calculate the value of the drain current flowing uh, in the second transistor, which is going to be the load current that we have here, right? So this means that the current IL is equals to the current ID2, which is one half, the process transconductance, right, prime, K and prime, times the ratio between width and length of the second transistor, times VGS, which is the same as this one here, right, minus VT2, which is the same, squared, which is the same that for transistor 1, 1 volt. So if we substitute the values in this equation here, we get IL equals to 4.91 milliampere. So that's the value of the current IL flowing on, on, on the drain inserts of the second transistor, okay? Now for part B, so this, this was part A, now for part B, we have to verify what's the condition for, for that this current is going to be true, like what would be the maximum allowed V out or VL voltage for the current mirror operation to be valid. So one of the conditions, uh, the conditions for this current mirror to work properly is that the output voltage should always be greater than VGS minus VT2, okay? Or it should be like greater than the, the overdrive uh, voltage, okay? So in this case, the output voltage should be greater than VGS. We know VGS, it's 6.7238 volts, right? minus VT2, which in our case, it's one volt. And this gives us a condition where V out should always be greater than 6.7238, sorry, five here, seven, oh my God, <laughs> let me just rewrite everything here. So it's 5.7238 volts. Okay, so that's the condition for part B. Now for part C, it says that uh, what would happen if the if the current that we have flowing in the load would vary by plus or minus one percent? What would be the corresponding change in the load voltage, right? So we can write the change in the load voltage as the change in the the change in the output current times the output resistance. And the output resistance in this case it's calculated using the early voltage divided by the output current, the nominal current that we have. So this output resistance is calculated as 100, the early voltage two, right? Divided by 4.91 milliamperes, right? So this gives us an output resistance that it's 20.349 kilo ohms. And now we back substitute this one in this equation. And the variation of I naught here, it's going to be zero. So it's plus or minus, right? 0 0.01 times 4.91 milliamperes, right? 
times t resistance r naught which is 20.349 and this gives us a delta v out that it's plus minus one volt okay so uh, that's it for this problem